Hi, I'm Gabriel Rojas, and now show you how to make your very own clipper shelf. As a kid with a rather thick beard, probably trimming and keeping a well cut beard is a must have for any beard enthusiast out there. However, when it came to organizing and cleaning the various components needed for beard cutting, the generic carrying case that came with my clippers was only subpar. With only a plastic bag to store the clippers as plastic heads and a thin wall to store the clippers, I needed a better way to easily access these tools when needed. After finding these pan points, I decided that an original product would be needed to get the job done. After a lengthy creativity session, I was able to converge onto this drawing of an inclined shelf, which, as the CAD model shows, provides a mold for the clippers, six generic rectangular cavities, a shelf for extra storage, and even a small basket for storing clipped hair whenever the clippers are cleaned. To make the product, I decided to go with plastic for the top portion, and wood for the shelf and bottom portion. In order to create the mold which would hold the clippers and plastic heads, I decided to go with thermal forming processes, which required me to create my very own vacuum former. With a max dimension of 9.5 inches for the top mold, I decided to create a 10 by 10 vacuum former. To create the vacuum former, I simply cut out two sheets of plywood with the circular saw. Once these pieces were cut, I then cut out four pieces of solid 2 by 4s which I then screwed onto one of the plates. To ensure a secure seal, I generously applied wood glue onto the internal corners and proceeded to screw the top plate onto the box. The next step involved drilling holes into an evenly set grid which was drawn out by a ruler and pencil. A drill and jigsaw was then used to cut out the vacuum hole on the side of the box. The jigsaw was also used to cut out the respective plastic holder which was cut with some clearance. A simple test was then performed to determine whether there was sufficient suction. As seen, it appears that the box works great and we were ready for the next step. With the vacuum former complete, one can simply pin a sheet of plastic, or in my case, polycarbonate which was purchased from the local Home Depot, onto the plastic holder, and once secure, it was heated in an oven until the plastic began to sag. While the plastic was heating up, I went ahead and placed the respective components needed for the mold, which included the clippers and four instead of six angle wood blocks. This was done to give the plastic a better chance of shaping. With the plastic heated up and the components in place, I simply took out the sheet and turned on the vacuum, and quickly pressed down onto the vacuum. It took me a couple of tries to get a good form, but soon I was able to get the following form. Once the plastic cooled, I removed the components and cut the sheet down to size. To create the two sidewalls and front walls, I took measurements while referring to my blueprints and cut down with the Dremel. For the back wall, I needed to cut a small cavity to fit the clippers. To do this, I traced the profile with respect to the thermoform part. To place the walls together, I generously applied hot glue onto the edges. The next step involved woodworking. As was later noted, the bottom portion of the product was created with thin pieces of wood. When the pieces were cut, they were glued together and then sanded. Once this was finished, the bottom portion was stained before it was glued onto the plastic top portion. With 66% of the product finished, the only thing left was the shelf. To make the shelf, five pieces of thin wood were cut to size through the use of a small saw. With the pieces cut, they were glued onto one another. Although the original design called for a small handle circle, a long horizontal piece of wood was used instead. With the shelf nearly complete, it was then stained to give it a more appealing look and glued together to finish it off. The rest of the product was finally assembled and we now have our finished product. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and leave any likes on my videos. I appreciate the support. Oh, oh.